Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can trade directly off of a chart on the Optimus Flow trading platform. So as always, um, this platform is currently in beta stage right now. It is going to be released very soon, but as of right now, um, it is not available to the public. So if you would like to test it out for us and you know try it out, feel free to drop us a comment in the comment section down below, or you can head over to our community forum. You can request an invitation there, or you can send us um, a request email to support at optimistfutures.com. That being said, the main focus point of this video is going to be chart trading. And it's actually quite simple to do so, and you do have a couple different methods of chart trading on this platform. So first up, you will need to open up a chart. You can do so by opening it up in the top left hand corner. You can click on the chart um, shortcut here. You can also go into the main menu and choose chart from here. As you can see, I already have a chart up. This is the Dow. I am, am trading off of the front month here. So it is March 2020. You can also, if you want, search for your symbol up in the top left hand corner. You can actually see I'm connected to Forex data as well. This does work with Forex. Um, but you pretty much just select the contract you want to trade. As you can see, I have the Dow right here. And then I can just go ahead and click on the month I want to trade. So now that we've got out that out of the way, we need to look for a method of order entry. And when I mentioned there's a couple ways to do so, this is what I was alluding to. There's a couple different methods of order entry here. So first up, we have mouse trading. This is for those of you that want to click on a specific price level here and place your orders this way. So as you can see, we can see the green represents a buy stop in this case because it's above the market. If you scroll below, you'll see this is now a buy limit. So depending on where you hover over your mouse, your orders will automatically reconfigure themselves. A left click will always represent the order that is in the green rectangle and a right click will always represent the order that's in the red rectangle. So just one more time above the market, I'm going to be at a buy stop or a sell limit. Below the market is going to be opposite. I'll be at a buy limit and a sell stop. So this is probably the primary primary way you'd conduct your chart trading. Scroll over to whatever price level you want to place your trade at. And again, technically sound. Um, this is not accurate at all. I'm just placing these orders for an example. So there's no rhyme or reason why I'm placing these orders. Again, it's just to provide a technical example here. So. I'm going to left click right here at 28542. As you can see, I get the order confirmation here. I press yes. And we can see my limit order is now in place. I have a limit order sitting here. Now, if I want, um, I can change the, um, the price level by pretty much just left clicking, dragging and holding. And you can see the price levels adjust accordingly wherever I left click and drag it off, it will let go and place it and adjust the order accordingly to that new price level. Now, keep in mind that we do have order confirmations on. So pretty much that means every time you do go to place an order on the chart specifically, or pretty much anywhere throughout the platform, you'll get one of these order confirmation windows. If you want to avoid this and save some time and be a little bit more efficient, you can click do not show again to avoid yourselves from having to confirm your order modification every time. Just keep in mind though, if you do accidentally modify your order, you won't get this order confirmation window and you could potentially screw things up. There is some liability to this. So just keep that in mind. We aren't exactly responsible after you click do not show again. So that's why that is there. So as you can see, I just adjusted my order by pretty much just left click dragging and holding. Now, as you can see, you can also pretty much just cancel out your order here by clicking on that X. As you can see, I get a cancel order confirmation. And there we go. We received our notification in the top right hand corner that our buy limit uh, for the Dow was canceled. Let's do this again. We'll make sure again, we'll click on chart trading. This can be done in the top right hand corner of your chart and you'll see that it looks like a little mouse there. Let's do it for a um, buy stop this time. So we'll left click above the market. As we can see, we have that order window again, the confirmation. And there we have it. My buy stop was placed right here. 
I can adjust it if I want closer to the market. We'll click yes. And there we go. It's been adjusted. One more time. Let's click on this again. We'll right click for a sell stop, press yes. And there we have it. So now as you can see, we have two working orders. So if I want to, I can individually click on each of these X's, but there's actually a couple other ways in which we can modify our orders. You'll notice there is in the top right hand corner of our chart, the option to show or hide the quick trading toolbar. Clicking on this will allow us to access all of these buttons on the right hand side. So along with your left click, right click chart trading, you also have, also have these options here as well. So as you can see, they kind of all play into each other and you can use these at your disposal um, for whatever you feel necessary. But now we have the option to place um, buy or sell orders at the bid or ask or at the market. This also gives us the capability to cancel all, flatten or cancel orders all at once. So let's go ahead. We don't have any positions as of right now. We can go ahead and cancel orders. As you can see, it just canceled by mo both of my working orders. And I, I made a mistake. We do have a position on here from a previous session. So I can go ahead and click on flatten, click yes. And now look, we just sold um, a previous long position that we just had. Just to show you one more time. And let's do this with the other option we have down here. We do have the quick OE. This is just quick order entry. So here I can actually change my quantity. You'll see by default that it is at one. I can go ahead and this is where I can kind of change up my order quantity. So I just press three, enter my order and entry is now, or my order quantity is now three. I can either press buy or sell for the corresponding buy or sell sides, or I can use this market order button. I could also drag this to wherever I'd like in the chart to make it a bit easier for myself, or if this is out of the way, whatever the case is. Let's go ahead, I press sell i have now filler kill orders um set to three i press yes there we go we now have three short positions again just to show you some of the functionality behind this order panel here now i can go ahead and press cancel all press yes and i canceled out all my orders so you might want to have up this order entry button at all times that way you can go ahead and just make sure this is where you're adjusting your order quantity because there's not a real easy way to do so outside of these options. Now, if you want, you can go into settings here and you can actually also adjust it here. So it's just, you know, it really depends on personal preference. Having this up is an easy way to change it. But again, you're only limited to the default order types without going into these settings here. So if you want to, you know, do it a different method, you can come to the, the settings box, adjust your order quantity here. This is where you can adjust your time and force. So you'll likely be coming here anyway. Uh, by default, it looks like it was at filler kill. We can change it to day. And as you can see, you actually have these time and force options for both your limit and stop orders if you want to change those accordingly. Other than that, that's just about going to wrap it up for this video. There's like I said, there's a bunch of different ways to manually place orders directly from a chart. It just really comes down to personal preference. If you want that tr true chart trading feel, you're definitely going to want to use the mouse trading option, have that enabled, scroll over the specific price option or um, price level that you want to place your trade at, and then left click or right click for your corresponding buy stop or sell a limit or, you know, vice versa. Again, you have the order entry button here. Um, if you activate that, that's going to hover this little user interface option on your screen. Um, one more time, we do have the mouse trading settings. Um, these are all your time and force option and the order quantity if you don't use the quick order entry option. And then finally, it's probably good to always have your quick trading toolbar here on the right hand side. So that way you can always cancel orders, flatten them or, you know, cancel working orders, cancel all all of the following options. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Optimus Flow content. We have trading podcasts, tip videos, advice, and much more. And as always, thanks for watching.